Warning, this video may contain graphic content, such as sexual scenes, violence, gore, boobies, and the rest of the fun stuff. Please be over 18 to view this, and don't say we didn't warn you little sinners. Endlessly searching for an original sin. Hey guys, welcome back to Quest Failed. We haven't been doing so good, have we? Let's see if we can make it better. Could today be worse? Could today be any worse? Because of my own incompetence, I've lost my home, my friends, everything. Maybe if I go back, they may still be waiting for me. Uh, no, of course not. Lazing on the grass, I watch a caravan pass by on the trail. A simple trade caravan pulled by a single horse and a merchant at the helm wearing a wide-brimmed straw hat. I wonder if that's the kind of job I should be doing, rather than pursuing this ideal of becoming an adventurer. Was I stupid to spend so much of my life building up to this? Could I have been spending that time learning a trade I could actually be making money with already? All these doubts creeping in? Why do things have to... Huh? What the heck was that? The caravan? Jumping to my feet, I sprint down the path that the caravan took, quickly stumbling onto, an, onto it in alarming rate. The caravan is on its side, its wheels blasted to cinders, trails of fire blaze all around the caravan, its contents having spilled out everywhere. I don't see the horse anywhere, so it must have gotten loose in the chaos and confusion. But I see the merchant with his scorched hat sprawled out on the floor and trembling in fear. Please don't kill me. Just, just take what you want. A scale. Oh, God. Hey, look, it's the detective. A tall, scaly woman looms over the frightened merchant, bearing a malicious grin with teeth sharp as blades. Sporting razor sharp claws across both her hands and feet and a hefty tail that lashes around excitedly behind her. It's safe to say that she's a monster. An incredibly well-built one of that. The muscles on her are ridiculous, and I get the feeling they're not just for show. Hmm. Uh huh. what's this? You're not even gonna put up a fight? How pathetic. Wimps like you don't deserve to live if you're just gonna sit and cry like that. At least try and go out with some dignity. Hey, but please stop. No. She hovers a hefty clawed foot over the merchant's head, looking almost bored as he continues to plea for his life. She's, she's gonna kill him, isn't she? She's gonna crush his head completely with one clean stomp. My entire body trembles. What do I do? I don't think she's noticed me yet. So if I start running, I might be able to escape before she turns on me afterwards. But then, can I really just abandon someone knowing that they're about to die? Because of me, so many people have died already. I clutch my hand to my chest as my mind works over time. My heart feels like it's about to break free. This is too much. Maybe in your next life you'll be able to treat me, the mighty banded ruby, with the respect I deserve. She lowers her foot slowly, relishing the look of absolute despair on the poor man's face. I still have time. I could. I can. Damn it all! What am I doing? Nya! My body acts on its own, my feet carrying me towards the bandit as I unsheath my sword, ready and ready my shield. Apparently, I have a death wish. Get out of- get away from him! Eh? She casually hops backwards to avoid my desperate, clumsy swipe as I place myself between her... Oops. And between myself, between her, both her and the merchant. Why am I doing this? She's huge! I can't possibly... Get out of here now! Run! My voice is shaky, dry as I bark at the merchant to flee. He's stunned for a moment, but thankfully nods and scampers off, the monster making no attempt to, shake, to chase him. 
all her attention now squarely on me. I can barely meet her piercing glare head on, my sword arm trembling and my shield just as unstable as I hold them up in perhaps the most pathetic combat stance ever. You've got some nerve, kid. Trying to get in a heap of sh Trying to get in a cheap shot like that? I swallow hard, my heart an erotic mess. What did I gain from doing this? Sure, the, mor the merchant is okay now, but there's no way I'm going to be able to leave this encounter alive. I feel like I'm my I might melt from her frightening gaze alone. Did, did you really think, uh... She trails off, her fiery eyes wandering to the shaking blade in my hand. For a moment, she looks perplexed, the anger fading from her. Is this some kind of joke, kid? You look like you're about to wet yourself. I say nothing, purely because I can't. If I open my mouth, all that would come out is unintelligible babbling. I'm doing all I can to keep myself together, even if the cracks are already starting to show. Trade out one weakling for another, I guess. She shrugs her shoulders, letting out a hefty sigh. <sighs> she generally looks disappointed. Whatever. I'll just take care of you quick so I can collect my prize. She motions to the burning wreckage behind me. Its contents more valuable to her than apparently anything I can offer. I'm so insignificant in her eyes she doesn't even begin to perceive me as a threat. Just a stray object in the way of something. A nuisance to be dealt with. That hurts. Hold still, kid. I'll put you out of your sad little existence. A claw. She clacks her claws together, her razor grin returning. I tighten my grip on my sword. I take a deep breath, the trembling stops. My surroundings fade. Only the monster visible before me as she kicks off the ground, her claws pulled back, ready for a kill. All I can hear is my heart thump. It's a steady pulse, sm soothing in a sense. I know I'm going to die now. But if I have to die, then I want to at least know that I went out giving it all my all. If I die a true adventurer's death... Rawr! Gah! Huh? I react in a flash. My blade lunges out like lightning and parries one claw, and I'm able to heave up my shield to bash back the other claw before it can come into contact with my head. The monster stumbles back wide-eyed. To be honest, I'm not exactly sure what just happened here. Apparently I won. But I can feel a fire burning through my veins, a feeling unlike anything I've ever felt before, as if channeling all of the pent-up rage and frustration swirling inside me. I can actually hold my sword up without it shaking. I can meet her dead on. I can fight. Well, I don't know what the heck that was about, kid, but maybe I took you too lightly. <laughs> if I'm being honest, I'm actually kind of glad you went and did that. See, it's not too often I... Often I meet someone that can al can last longer than a few seconds up against me, let alone deflect one of my attacks. She snorts fire, an amused grin spreading across her face. What's your name, kid? Matthew. I'm able to give get my voice out clearly and confident. No hint of a stutter or fear within my voice. Somehow. Well, Matthew, it's a real pleasure to meet you. I'm Ruby. She stands proud and rubs her nose, modestly, clearly not her strong suit. I bet you've already heard of me before. I'm pretty famous round these parts, after all. I don't say anything and remain stone-faced. I just stay on my guard, ready to react at a moment's notice. I was lucky enough to survive that first attack, so I have to be prepared for anything else she might throw at me. No, Ruby the Mighty Bandit doesn't ring a bell. Ba the Bandit Dragon, Ruby the Ruthless. Not even Radical Ruby. I wonder if anyone but herself has ever even called her that last one. 
She becomes increasingly frustrated with each name she throws at me. Met by the same unwavering silence, I am somehow able to keep up without devolving into a mush like before. Ugh, who cares if some snot-nosed kid like you hasn't heard of me? You're about to die anyway. Here she comes again. I steal myself and focus. Hopefully I can. <clears throat> she lunges past me in a flash. I'm able to parry one claw like before, but I'm too slow on the other. A sudden pain searing its way across my shoulder as she catches me on the side. Damn it! Did she get faster or is my concentration slipping? Gritting my teeth to bear through the pain, I spin to meet her as she comes to a skidding halt. Uh-huh, maybe I was wrong about you. Her eye, her eye, she eyes, she eyes the blood, my blood on her claw, looking it off with a forked tongue before shooting me a malicious grin. I hope that it isn't all you're capable of, kid, or I'm going to be real disappointed that I got my hopes up. She closes in again, claws whirling. At this is going to be tough. She rains a barrage of swipes down on me, of which I'm just barely able to protect against as I throw my shield up. Her thick claws clatter against my shield so hard I can feel my bones rattle, sure that she's going to break through at any moment. Thankfully, though, my shield somehow holds out, though I can just barely say the same for the rest of me. Yeah! She sees it fit to end her clawed combo with a with a hefty kick. I'm able to block that too, but the impact is overwhelming, sending me skidding backwards across the grass as I desperately try to keep myself upright. <clears throat> My entire body surges with pain. I feel like I'm about to vomit, but I can't give up. For the first time in my life, I'm standing up against something. I'm not going to bow down and submit. Pulling my shield arm back down, I met with silence. Where'd she go? She was right here a moment ago. Think fast! A blurred figure zooms in from the side, their claws giving off a deadly glint, a manic grin on her face. <laughs> I block her attack just barely, but she disappears again, just as suddenly as she had appeared. Aha! Uh -huh. Over here! Or am I over here? Ah! She weaves in and out as fast as the wind, some of her attacks grazing me, others just... I'm just barely able to keep from shredding me to pieces. I can't even get an attack. This is bad. What's wrong, kid? Can't keep up. Ah! She cackles in my ear before backflipping away, nimbly avoiding my swipe. I can't just stand here and let her mess around with me like this. I need to stay on the offensive and stop her from completely dominating this battle. Ignoring the warm, sickly feeling of the blood trickling out of my out from my wounds, I tighten my grip on my sword and lunge out. I'm losing my composure. I need to calm down and focus, just like I did when I first blocked her attacks. I have to ignore the pain, block it out of my mind. It means nothing so long as I can still wield my sword and fight isn't the fight isn't over. Block out all of the distractions, block out her talents, focus on nothing but defeating her. You finally coming for me, huh? I was wondering how long you were gonna cower behind that fancy shield of yours. Come on then, first hits free, do your worst, kid. She's throwing her arms up as wide as I close the distance between her. Her pointed grin, wide as ever. She being serious. I guess we'll find out next time, guys. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you all next time. Don't forget to check out my Patreon. Check out XBit, look up here to sing. I'll see you all next time. Bye. And I still feel your power. You changed my voice. You locked it in and put out any fire and still with one touch you got me where you want me yeah and it's like a rush the waves that crash inside me and you carved it deep into my heart that you're the king
Crash and sad we are Paradise and crown 